Okay, it's launch trajectory and countdown net. Pad is clear. 10, 9, 8, Launch auto sequence seven, has started. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Go for launch. Stage separation confirmed. Dragon separation confirmed. Stage one is transonic. Landing legs have deployed. And Falcon 9 has landed. Hello everyone, my name is Kate Tice and I'm the Quality Systems Engineering Manager here at SpaceX. I'm joining you today from SpaceX headquarters in Hawthorne, California, just a few hours south of our Vandenberg Space Force Base launch pad, which you see there on your screen. Today's Starlink mission... Thanks, President, for strong back reach out. Today's mission, today's Starlink mission will mark SpaceX's 45th launch this year and 183rd launch of all time. Now, for those of you following along, you know it's already been a pretty exciting day for us here at SpaceX. Uh, about seven hours ago, the NASA Crew-5 mission lifted off from launch pad 39A at Kennedy Space Center, headed to the International Space Station. The crew has another 22 hours to go before reaching the orbiting laboratory, and we're looking forward to their arrival tomorrow afternoon, about 2 p.m. Pacific, 5 p.m. Eastern Time. But for now, let's turn our attention to our 64th launch of Starlink. The teams are currently tracking no issues with the vehicles or spacecraft. Weather and range are both green for launch, and we are proceeding with a T0 of 4.10 p.m. Pacific time, just four minutes from now. The range is green and ready to support liftoff. And in preparation for liftoff, we're standing by for TE retraction. We heard that uh, the strong back was being pressurized and it is a little tough to see through the fog there at Vandenberg, so we'll try to bring you a camera view if it's available. But we should see those clamp arms opening up. Propellant load is underway on both the first and second stage. RP1 load is complete on both first and second stage. We're expecting the LOX load to complete in under about 20 seconds from now on the first stage, and LOX load will complete on second stage about T minus two minutes. Falcon 9 uses RP1 and LOX, or rocket grade kerosene, uh, rocket propellant one, and liquid oxygen. Stage and, one, LOX load and there's that confirmation that LOX load is wrapped up on the first stage. The next milestone coming up at T minus two minutes will be LOX load complete on the second stage. It looks like the strong back has retracted. If you look carefully at the shadows through the misty fog, now, if we had a little bit of a clearer view, we'd be able to see some uh, white gas venting from the vehicle now that the LOX load has completed on the first stage. Just some of that liquid oxygen uh, vapor, uh, excuse me, liquid oxygen vaporizing uh, as it makes contact with the air and also as the, um, as the lines that fuel the vehicle are vented. Some of that bleeds off. There we have a little bit of a clearer view. The launch pad is just beyond that range. Lox load now wrapping up on second stage. Stage two lock load complete. All right, and there's that call out. So at this point in time, Falcon, na Falcon 9 is now fully loaded with 1 million pounds of fuel and liquid oxygen. And there we see more of that venting occurring. Now the booster there on screen is flying for the fifth time today. It previously supported NROL 87 and 85, Sarah 1, and a Starlink mission. And after liftoff and stage separation, uh, that booster is scheduled to land on our drone ship, Of Course I Still Love You, which is currently parked... Uh, Falcon 9 is in startup. 
a couple hundred miles off the coast of California. We just heard the call out Falcon 9 is in startup. Should be getting the final go from launch from, for launch LB from. is go for launch. There it is. So we're now go for all systems. Let's listen in to the final count. T-minus 30 seconds. Slime tree nominal. Falcon supersonic. And there we just heard Falcon 9 is now traveling faster than the speed of sound. Max Q. And there we heard that Falcon 9 passed through max Q, which is the period of maximum dynamic pressure that the vehicle will feel during flight. So we're going to throttle those Merlin engines back up in preparation for main engine cutoff. We're about one minute away from main engine cutoff, or MECO, if you're following along with the timeline there at the bottom of your screen. Following Miko, we'll have stage separation and second engine start. And we just heard that MVAC chill has begun. That's when we flow a little bit of the super chilled liquid oxygen into the turbo pump of the second stage engine, the MVAC, in order to prepare the hardware for the full flow of liquid oxygen. About 10 seconds away from main engine cutoff. Miko. Stage separation confirmed. And back ignition. All right, quick succession there. Next up will be fairing deploy, and there we saw it live. Fairing separation confirmed. Separation confirmed. We can now see the Starlink satellites as well as the grid fins on the left-hand side of your screen now being deployed on the first stage. Today we will attempt to recover those fairing halves again to use on a future mission. Beautiful view on the right-hand side of your screen as that MVAC nozzle begins to develop a beautiful red-orange glow. I love that view of planet Earth in the background. We can see first stage on the left-hand side of your screen is still slightly gaining in altitude. It has not yet uh, reached its apogee.
the next major event in about uh, less than two minutes will be stage one entry burn. We will ignite three of the Merlin 1D engines at the base of the first stage in order to help slow the vehicle down as it re-enters the Earth's atmosphere. As I mentioned before, today's mission marks SpaceX's 45th launch, launch this year. Sound like we had a call out that both vehicles are following nominal trajectories, so everything looking good there. Booster you see, well saw, on the left-hand side of your screen, previously supported NROL 87 and 85, Sarah 1, and a Starlink mission, making today its fifth flight. As a reminder, Starlink is a satellite internet constellation designed and manufactured by SpaceX to provide high-speed, low-latency internet to people living in remote and rural locations all around the globe. Service is currently available in 45, 49 markets, markets excuse me, around the world. So we are about 15 seconds away from stage one entry burn. That will be followed by the landing burn of the first stage. Stage one entry burn startup. There on your screen, we can see that entry burn has begun with the first stage on the left-hand side of your screen. Stage one entry burn shut down. All right, and that first of two maneuvers that the first stage is due to complete is now done, and we can see the grid fins actuating uh, to help steer the booster to a precise landing on our drone ship. As the clouds stage one FTS has safe. As the clouds get closer into view, you can get a better sense of just how fast the vehicle is traveling based on the telemetry there on screen. We can see that it is coming down to about four thousand kilometers per hour. really demonstrating the ability of the atmosphere to help slow the vehicle down in addition to the uh, re-entry burn. Stage one transonic. All right, we're about 30 seconds away from the first stage landing burn. Right about the same time as we expect to see the first stage land, we should also hear callouts for second engine cutoff as well as hopefully good orbit. Stage two, terminal guidance. Stage one, landing burn. So there we can see the landing burn has begun. Rushing through the clouds and there's the drone ship. Stage two, FTS has safety. Landing leg deploy. And there you can see on Stage your screen. Landing confirmed. And heard there with the call out, Falcon 9 has successfully landing, marking the 145th landing of an orbital class rocket, our 45th launch of 2022, Back shut down. and our second launch today. Nominal orbit insertion. All right, and there we heard the call out for both second engine cutoff and there just now a good orbital insertion. So now that we know we've reached good orbit, um, we uh, had and also had that successful second engine cutoff. Second stage is now carrying 52 Starlink satellites into low Earth orbit. 
And with confirmation of first stage landing and successful second engine cutoff, we're going to wrap up today's launch coverage. If you're interested in following along, we have our nets live on YouTube. So uh, be sure to check SpaceX, SpaceX social media for confirmation of Starlink deploy. Thanks for joining us today, and be sure to tune in tomorrow as well for our live coverage of Dragon's arrival to the space station for the NASA Crew-5 mission, along with our third and final launch of the week for our customer Intelsat. Until then, have a good night, get some sleep.